hello students so in this video we are going to learn about the in situ soil that is the soil which is directly formed from the rocks and at the place of its origin so here i have collected different types of soils which are found in india that is laterite soil deep black soil uh, light black soil both are same but slight difference in the composition and this is red sandy soil we do have red loamy soil i'll show you at the end of the video so first uh, we will talk about the common soil that is the soil which is widely spread across india that is red soil here okay so if you observe the parent rock one of the parent rock okay so this is a granite okay and you can see lot of crystals on this okay this is a polished one so crystals are clearly visible so when this soil undergoes weathering uh, we have learned that that is how the red soil is formed that is from the weathering of crystalline rocks now if you look at the texture okay so it is very coarse in nature okay very uh, has lot of uh, small stone particles as well and has lot of big mouths okay that is a uh, solid soil and then we have light black soil which is uh, not found in deccan tract region it's a general area so it has basalts and also other lava rocks so this is the texture of the black uh, light black soil and then here we have the deep black soil which is brought from the deccan trap region where we have basalts so this one okay and then finally the laterite soil this one as you can see the grains it will be more actually the laterite soil is more reddish in color compared even compared to the red soil because of the iron oxides so now coming to this we will uh, examine the texture and also uh, compare with the rocks so right now i have a basalt rock <coughs> sorry samples of basalt rocks here a basalt pure one and here which is already weathered and it is turning into a laterite rock so now uh, here when there is heavy rainfall so the lime which is present here gets percolated deep inside the soil and that forms the clay content so i have a uh, this is clay this clay gets percolated deep inside and afterwards when it comes out that is how the black soil is formed now what happens to the remaining particles this one so now the lime gets washed away so the remaining particles slowly turn into grains like this okay further so the leftover one and that is how the laterite soil is formed this one so that means laterite soil is the most weathered soil of all these things so uh, yes there are disadvantages that it may not be fertile but there are also advantages of a completely weathered soil because it is not going to weather further okay uh, that means there will be no decomposition which is going to take place so there are advantages of it so as the laterite weathers and the clay gets deposited over here that is in the red soil region so you can see this clay okay so this turns into shale after a few years and then the slate or the shale under heat and pressure will form this that is shale okay so now here i have added a little water to the soils to understand the texture of this so again the black soil red soil and the laterite soil here 
so now if you observe this black soil is turning it is becoming somewhat like clay okay if you see it is turning out to be like clay so what happens that means when the water evaporates okay lot of cracks are found and if you notice compared to other soils this is more powdered in nature okay so it has lot of molds in it the red soil has lot of molds in it that means tilling is required whereas look at the black soil it is absolutely you no know, uh, very fine powdered so it is ready for sowing the crops that's why we call red soil uh, sorry the black soil as the naturally tilled soil okay now here in the red soil region so again you will see lot of uh, slush kind of thing so and now imagine in this two types of soils if just imagine if it is on the road side and uh, if the vehicles are going on this so obviously this the uh, because of the weight of the vehicles so what is uh, what will happen they'll get stuck because see it's very slushy in nature and also this is very soft so now you cannot use this kind of soil for cementing because it becomes powdered like this it again becomes powdered like this once it dries up same thing with the black soil it becomes like this once it gets dried up whereas the laterite soil here see it's already like it has become like a paste and you know i have to push it so hard that means one of the advantages here vehicles won't get stuck so forget about the vehicles if you are not talking about the vehicles even for the general usage wow, this soil can be used for construction purpose i'll show you another mold here that means once it dries up it becomes like this almost like a stone i cannot even powder it it's so hard okay so and this is how the laterite brick is formed so as i told you earlier laterite means brick so this is very hard and laterite soil is used for the construction purpose so here what you see is the general composition of the soil so i took humus that is the organic matter so this is uh, this looks like a soil but it is taken from a compost pit where the twigs and other vegetables were decomposed for more than 45 days almost uh, more than 45 days with soil and cow dung so that is after 45 days so it turns into a very fine soil kind of thing it looks like black soil but it is not a black soil okay and here you have sand pure sand i'll show you this one so this is the humus content and then this is pure sand and the silica with minerals and this is a clay what you have seen okay now the depending on the proportion of these soils we get you know, different types of soils so here uh, why i am explaining is if we want to cultivate a certain kind of crop which is not grown naturally in a soil let us take for example if we want to grow red uh, rice in red soil so red soil is not water retentive because you can see lot of grains here okay so rice cannot be grown under natural circumstances so for that if i increase the humus content and clay content and provide adequate water facility then i would get something like this so if you look at it a lot of humus content is also there so this is water retentive why i am saying water retentive is this soil is uh, watered like more than 12 hours ago 
and still it is very wet okay so that's how we can also enhance the soil fertility if we can understand the composition and nowadays with the uh, new agricultural techniques like almost all the crops are grown in all types of soils not in natural condition but yes with artificial conditions so thank you